Three, two, one, go. Hey, I'm actually ahead leaving level 1 for once. Alright, so in this level I try to do a shell jump, so I'm gonna grab this shell and try to bring it to the end of the level. Ah, damn it. Missed the shell jump. That's fine. I feel like I'm about 50% uh, consistent with that. Seems like I get it about every other run, on average. Anyway, that only saves a little bit of time, and I didn't, I didn't get it in my PB either, so... Shouldn't really lose time here. Maybe a little bit. So I try to finish this level with two fire flowers. I'm gonna use one to damage boost in the next level, and then I need the second one uh, for a oh, whoops. I missed my split. I literally missed the key. <laughs> it's okay. That split's inaccurate anyway. Um, so you'll see. Um, basically, I'm gonna. Whoops. Damage boost in here. Grab the second one. And now, in this room, I'm gonna get a feather. That's the earliest feather you can get in the game. And I'm gonna need that for a sequence break later on. And once I get it, I'm gonna switch to my fire flower, which puts the feather in my reserve box, and then I'm gonna die. And that's gonna let me escape the level with the feather without having to beat it. And now, I'm going to uh, take the other route in World 1. I need to get the secret exit here now. Pipe fly. Using the cape there lets me skip getting a shell. And now I can also use it to kill these chucks. Which also saves time. If I lose my feather, the run is over though.
Alright, there we go. Now, the main reason I got the feather was to do a sequence break in this next level. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is steal Yoshi from the level. By remounting him against the ceiling to get invincibility frames. And go through the lightning, and then I can re-enter the level with the Yoshi block still intact, and I can use Yoshi to spit out this shell to clear some memory. And now, I'm gonna try to dupe the Yoshi block by cape spinning right when I transform the right spot. And that gets me two Yoshis, and I use the invisible Yoshi to teleport through the floor and get to the main part of this level, which you're not supposed to be able to access until way later in the game. And beating this level is gonna let me skip from World 1 to World 4. Cape spin up the gold tape to um, make my hitbox stick to the gold tape and the chuck runs into it. If you're lucky, you can get all the chucks to run into the cape hitbox and die, and that actually saves time because it reduces lag, but it didn't work out there. It's kind of random. Alright, speaking of random, the next level is kind of random because uh, the Lakitu in this level throws spinies based on the global timer, and also his movement is kind of chaotic, so if you don't move the same way every time, becomes very unpredictable. Oh, that was close. So you can fly over some of the walls in this level, but not others. Um... That wasn't too bad, but it could have been better. Still saving time, though. Alright, this next level is the real <laughs> random... Like, this next level is full of RNG. Um, basically, you have to guide this little Chuck around, and he can pass through certain blocks you can't, and you can pass through certain blocks he can't, and, um... Uh, his movement is pretty random, so I need him to come over here. Come on, there you go. Don't get stuck down there. Ah, oh, that's that's not good. There we go. That could have been a lot worse. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Yeah, so sometimes RNG can just roadblock you like that, where he just doesn't move. Basically, uh, his jump heights are kind of random. It's I think it's based on his speed, but his speed also kind of is hard to predict. And um, his jump heights are also RNG. Or, sorry, his jump timing, I mean, like when he decides to jump. There's certain conditions where he won't jump, like if you're on level ground with him. Uh, and you're close enough to him horizontally. But, um... Other than that, his jump, when he decides to jump is kind of random. There we go. So that wasn't too bad for the first half, but it could have been better. Nope. Uh, I have to reset now. It's fine. That didn't really cost. 
lost that much time, actually. Um, I'm gonna do a little setup here. Nope. Come on. Do the thing. Dude, this guy is so annoying. Jump! Thank you. Okay. I need him to jump at the right time there, so I try to do a little setup to make it more likely to happen. Keeping cape this far really doesn't matter because the next level filters my power-ups anyway. So it doesn't matter that I got hit there, for example. Come here. Watch out. Ah, damn. I almost went in. Alright, there we go. Alright. Yeah, I'm losing time here for sure. I'm losing a lot of time, actually. That's okay. It was almost all because of RNG, so... I can't feel too bad about it. Angry Fish. Um, this level's a little bit hard to do fast, so I guess I should stay focused here. Thank you, V101 dude. How's it going? Two, three, four, five. I guess I'll go ahead and power up at the start of the next level. Alright, so in this level, palatable perturbation, uh, the strawberry milk here reverses your controls. It's pretty second nature to me at this point because I've played this level so much but uh, it's still working for me.
This level actually gives you a lot of power-ups. I'm not taking any of them because uh, I lose time from the power-up and power-down animations. Well, the power-up animations. Um, and the only way I can really save time from the scroller, I guess, is to not get hit or grab power-ups. Wow, I saved almost 10 seconds there. Well, 8 seconds. Not sure what happened to my PV. I guess the boss fight was just bad. Just ignore that. God damn it. I'm so sorry. I'll take care of it after this level. Sorry about that. Oh my god, I wish I wasn't in the middle of a level right now. I forgot I set an alarm because I need to take my meds. <laughs> but I'll do it after this run. Oh my god, it's just gonna keep going. Gold split. <laughs> so that was annoying. Alright, Fortress of the Giant Monsters. So, um, this level is a little bit hard to do fast. Namely, the boss fight at the end. Well, there's. Uh, okay. That was a slow start. I'm not sure why sometimes that thwomp gets triggered early. Like, I'm sure the proximity detection. Uh, wraps around the screen just like normal flumps, but that still doesn't really explain it. Since I'm moving the same way pretty much every time. I mean, that time I hit the wall, so. God damn it. Okay, first death. Luckily, it's not a huge deal because I can lose, or I can save a whole bunch of time in the next level uh, if I manage to keep my cape at the end here. See, that time he got triggered and I didn't hit the wall, so I don't really understand it. I can make up that time easily. This jump is hard. Oh my god! Yep. <laughs> I should have backed out when I knew, when I jumped early, like I should have just backed out, I would have been fine. You can bounce on the potable, which is what you're supposed to do, but that's not a hard jump, so I still go for it. That 
that's two deaths so far. It's, uh, I can make up that time, but I'm not gonna be able to make it all up in the next level. Only some of it. Alright, let's go for this one more time. One was too early, one was too late. That one was good, but I got scared. <laughs> okay. Try to go under this swamp. Orb. Yeah, so those two deaths co cost quite a bit of time, but I'll make up some of that in the next level. That was kind of a late split. I'm a little bit though. Yeah, that level's pretty cool. I like it. So I'm still saving time here, but I'm not doing the fast fly, obviously, so... Probably not quite 30 seconds save. Oh, more than 30 seconds, actually. still a lot of time save coming up. Not in this level though, this level's another auto-scroller. I don't know how I saved six seconds in a level, I guess just from the power-up animations from not having cape beforehand. Alright, speaking of cape, uh, it's a good thing I have two because this level is really hard. <laughs>
way. Alright, that went well. Saving about 30 seconds. Alright, the next level, in theory, I can save a lot of time. We'll see what happens. So I'm gonna take damage here. So yeah, I should save time here. It might even be a gold split, but I'm not sure. Not gold, but... Alright, so ruins, in theory, I can save a lot of time. Uh, my goal here is just not to lose both feathers. That would be bad. We'll see what happens, though. Okay, well, I lost one. That was a weird way to die. I've never died like that before. That was definitely interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna damage boost through all this and grab this feather. Okay. 
So I died, but I still have a feather, so I'm still gonna save time in this room, which means overall I may not actually lose time. I'm not sure. Probably will still lose time, actually. The question is whether or not I'll be ahead. Morton is sideways, by the way. Oh yeah, I'll still be ahead. Wow, I saved time still? Wow. I'm saving even more time here because I have a cape. Please get flight at the start of this level. <laughs> Sometimes I mess it up. Nope. Alright, whatever. Only costs like a second. Or less. Alright, really, really, really hard level coming up. Here we go. Wow. 
It doesn't matter that I took damage there, other than the power down animation, because uh, the next level filters your power ups anyway. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I saved a lot of time there. And I can save even more time in this level. In theory, I probably won't though. Alright, got peace speed through the first room, that's good. I could tell that was too early. After I threw it, I was like, mm, that's not gonna work. Okay, I need to reposition this. That was pretty good. Should save a lot of time here. There's still even more time saved to come. But this level has been giving me lots of trouble lately for some reason. It's so frustrating. Uh. This part with the freaking football has been so annoying lately. Okay. I was trying to grab the mushroom, but I guess I didn't really need it. I might lose a couple seconds in this level, just from wasting time getting in the door. still one scary part of this level left, which is the footballs at the very end. I don't know why I went over that one. I'm still not really sure how to handle these footballs. Got through at that time, though. Alright. I'll probably lose a couple seconds. Just getting into the doors was slow. Yeah. Alright, next level is pretty fun to speedrun, <laughs> if I'm honest.
Damn, that's- I didn't think about that. The global timer. I didn't even think about that. Alright, I'm losing a little bit of time here. Actually, my PB died here as well, so... I might still save time. But... <laughs> I... I, w I wasn't thinking about the global timer when I... It's hard to explain. <laughs> the dan the flame timer for the Bowser statue still counts down during the damage animation. And I wasn't thinking about that, so... The flame would have been under my feet if I hadn't taken damage there. That's fine, I'm still saving time. I think my PB died twice in that level. Maybe. Alright, Shell Shrine's also been giving me trouble lately. there to skip hitting that switch, but I got unlucky and didn't get it. Ah, damn it. It was one pixel too far to the right. Losing some time here. Come on. Ah, again. I think it was still one pixel. Really? Okay, I should just do it the slow way, I guess. If it doesn't land in a good spot. Okay, there we go, now it lands in a good spot. Uh, that setup is like not actually very good at all, but it works sometimes, and it's fast. Alright, so I'm gonna be losing some time here from that. Probably like almost 20 seconds, maybe. something like 20 seconds, I think. Yeah. Alright, next up is the Lava Gap, which is my arch nemesis. This level... This level is hard for me. 
It's pretty random, so I can't really be blamed for it. Orb. Um, I think this level has been treating me well lately, but it's an auto scroller, so. levels. Oh, I got one. Orb. That might be a gold split. Not by much, but... Uh, not quite. Okay. Alright, let's try not to die in a stupid way in this level, or die at all, period.
Oh my god. Okay, well, there there goes the death. Now, I don't think I'm gonna lose time in this level because I think my PB died here too. Honestly, that's like the riskiest thing I do in this level is this stupid jump right here where I bounce across these things. It's not, well, it's it's very unnecessary because it fairly saves time, but it's also not really hard to do, but I guess it's kind of risky. Sorry, I'm not saying much. Really? I died there? Really? Really? Why did I have so little time? Like, why did my invinci invincibility frames not last that long? Really? That's weird. Like, honestly, I have no clue why my invincibility didn't last long enough there. Okay. Okay, sodium chloride. Okay, this time it should work. Okay, I guess just jump a little bit earlier. I felt like I... I don't know. That's weird. That's never happened like that before. Okay. That probably costs about a minute. Probably only be like two minutes ahead at the end of this level. Looks about right. Two and a half, maybe. That damage boost barely saves time, too, so I feel kind of dumb for messing that up. Uh, runs... well, this run's going pretty well. <laughs> yeah, I guess runs are going well. Uh, my goal time for this category right now is sub-110. But my goal for tonight is just to PB, which it looks like I'm going to, as long as I don't really fuck up in the last few levels here. Which I might, honestly. I would not be surprised at all, because that's been happening a lot lately.
might be a gold split. But not by much. Not quite gold, but saved a few seconds. Alright. I did jump way too early. I don't know why I did that, but I still should have been able to adjust. Okay, that's another like 30 seconds lost or more. Probably like 40 seconds. Pretty sure I didn't buy any gold in my TV. Maybe I did. Not in the first half, that's for sure. I haven't died in the first half in a while, actually. So it's probably gonna happen like twice now. I'm overdue, basically. Sorry if you can hear background noise. You can't really do anything about it. Um, hello? 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 Can you explain why he didn't fall down there? God damn it, dude. I can still PB, but this is dumb now. Hello? <laughs> why didn't the thwomp fall down? Ugh. Alright. 
less than two minutes ahead now. Only like a minute and a half. So I can afford like one death in Bowser's Castle. I mean, I shouldn't die in Bowser's Castle, but I might. And if I do, I can still PB, maybe. <laughs> It'll be nice to have a, a bunch of time save right at the end of the run for my next world record, you know? So I kind of hope this PBs. I should just always jump, because there's like, like, either I hit the point or I just take off again. Like, there's no reason to expect that I'm going to hit the point. I don't know why I do that.
can't afford to die at this point. skips but at least I didn't die. Uh, sub 114. Thanks, you, Mario. And Evad. So, this is the first, uh, world record, or this is the first sub. Uh, this is the first time to beat Seathorn's time. Uh, that where the audio doesn't cut out, hopefully, if, as long as it doesn't cut out during the credits, because I'm gonna record the credits too. The audio is still intact, right? Like the game audio is still working. I'm sure someone would have told me if it if it wasn't. Yeah, so sub 110 is definitely doable. Like you can just look at the. You know, just look at the graph, like, both of those peaks, well, like, the two times where it spikes upward, um, combined, would be enough to get sub-110, and that's not even including, like, uh, little minor, uh, you know, spikes. 
Thanks to Terraformer. Sodium chloride. <sighs> it does feel nice to PB, I guess, but you know. <laughs> um, I would actually do more runs, but I'd rather end on a high note. So I don't think it's like I, I'm. I have the energy. I could keep going, but honestly, I don't think I can play much better than that tonight. I think it's it's better that I just take a break and maybe do more in the morning. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get sub 110 sometime soon, but it might be a while. Um, I could also stream something else, but I'm kind of not really in the mood to play anything else right now. So I might just take the rest of the night off. I mean, I worked all morning, like I worked from 10.30 to 7.00. And then right when I got home, I like I ate some chips and then I started streaming. <laughs> so I haven't really had a ch chance to kind of just unwind and uh, you know relax. But uh, I'm happy I PB'd. Some of us didn't really go down during that run, I don't think. At least not noticeably. Um, the biggest uh, gold split I can still get is in Bowser's Castle. If I were to keep my cape all the way through and do all the cape strats, that would save like over a minute. Um, it might even be like 90 seconds compared to, to losing my cape halfway through like I usually do. I've never done that in a run. I've never even done it in an IL setting. I've never been able to keep my cape all the way through uh, while doing all the fast strats and the fast route. Uh, Link Dead has done it, and not only has he done it, he's done it in a run, in, in a like god pace run, in 11 exit. So it's it's possible to make it consistent, I guess, but Jesus Christ, I can't do it. <laughs> I guess it would help if I could practice with safe states on console. Um, which I can't, but I'm not really worried too much. I, I, I don't know. It's, even if I can't get it in a run, it's fine. I would like to get an IL with it, though. Like, where where I don't lose cape and do all the fast strats. That would be nice. But I'm not going to try to do that tonight. Another thing I want to get to sometime soon is um, doing Depraved Stronghold without uh, dying. Like, do an IL of it, basically. Uh, and that's gonna take a lot of practice, but um, after I master that level, I'm gonna try to do another uh, 125 exit run. 125.69. So, that's the plan. Anyway, thank you for watching.